Whoa! What's going on, guys? So, we're heading to the gym now for a big boy back day. We're feeling good, feeling strong. We're feeling heavy. I think. Freaking knock on wood. I don't want to jinx anything, but... I think we gained that extra point two that I was missing from Saturday. I think so, ma'am. I, I, I think we're back over 2.30. I feel it. I feel like I'm back over 2.30. My body feels like it's back to me again. My muscles feel, you know, they're, they're feeling full. They're feeling solid. But we'll see. So, <clears throat> see what we look like in the gym. Oh, excuse me. Man, I've had a freaking weekend. You know, the other day, as you saw, the day started at 2 a.m. And uh, I feel like I'm still recovering from that a little bit. Because that was a long freaking day. What's funny about that was... <clears throat> I don't think I realized how tired I was. Until I realized I'd been up for like 22 hours when I was driving home. Where I was like, you know, I'm... What's like, Wow. I've been up for a, a hot minute there. <laughs> Once that happened, it was a uh, stressful ride home. Just falling, falling asleep. So, we made it back, obviously. Made it back alive. All good. No problems. Everything's fine. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, that was a long one. That was a long one, man. Wasn't feeling great last night. Like in the middle of the night, my stomach was just in disarray. So I lost a little bit of sleep there. But <clears throat> actually threw up a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot. A lot of it. Which is weird. Because usually if I throw up, and it sounds like I do a lot, but I, I don't. It's always right up here. Because I ate too much and my body's like, dude, get this out of me. It's never like... My stomach feels weird. Something's wrong. Get it out of us. It's always like, hey, John, you ate too much, you idiot. We're sending it back. Return to sender. Because my last meal was at like, I don't know, 9.30. And I got up at, like, excuse me, like 1 a.m. I was tossing and turning a little bit. Just a little uncomfortable. And I felt my stomach, and I'm like... Something's, something's weird. I'm like, that's not normal. That's not right. From there, I'm laying there. I'm just trying to go back to sleep. You know, go on my side. It wasn't comfortable. My back wasn't comfortable. I'm like, I'm like, I think I have to throw up. <clears throat> I'm, like, I, I'm like, really? I'm like, all right. Because I don't know the last time I've ever had nausea from like my my stomach. It was always up here because I ate too much, like like an idiot, and I've done that more than once. <coughs> so one in the morning, I go to the bathroom and I'm standing there peeing. I'm like trying to hold it in. I'm like, you get to that point with your nausea where you just accept it. You're like, all right, let's let's get this over with. Let's do it. And you go down there. Now, my issue is. I don't throw up like, bleh, we're good. I throw up like a dinosaur with his leg trapped in a bear trap. It's incredibly aggressive. You know, when your body's trying to get stuff out of it, your CNS is frying and it's firing all your muscles off and your abdominal and your abdomen on all cylinders. Now. I have a lot of muscles in my abdomen, so that being said, it it hurt. My abs are a little bit sore today for sure, but like I'll pop, I'll always like pop blood vessels in my face, sometimes my eyes, but thank God last night wasn't that bad. My eyes are okay. Maybe this one's a teeny, teeny red. No, it's okay. It was just my, uh, my contact this morning. I saw it a little red, but like all around it, it's like, I don't know. 
a young Irish girl who's in the sun too long, where there's little red spots all over the place, you know? It's kind of what it looks like. From here, it probably looks fine. And I don't, I mean, I'm looking at the camera right now, it looks okay. I'm just looking jacked and, jacked and handsome. I'm joking, but, you know, good to feel good about yourself, right? So, <clears throat> it was funny, I, was, I wasn't feeling good. And my dog came by, he's looking at me out of the bathroom door with a mix of like, dad, are you okay? And, cause I want to go back to bed. <coughs> so, <clears throat> I gave him a little pet. I'm like, I'm all right, buddy. You know, you, you do you. So he just, <laughs> he walked away. He went on the, um, laid kind of like a little far away from the bathroom door, but facing it, we could just watch just to make sure everything's all right. You know, for those of you that don't know, I have an Australian Shepherd. His name's Archer. He's one handsome little dude, let me tell you. <clears throat> he's a sweetheart, but he's incredibly protective. So, if he's known you forever, and he sees you, he's like, hey, what's up? He's, he's ridiculously excited to see you. <clears throat> if he's met you once or twice, and you come to the door, he's barking his head off like a, like a German Shepherd, just like, don't you dare come in my house. But if that same person <clears throat> is in the house before he is, and I walk in the door with him, he's like, oh, hey, what's up? Good to see you. It's just so funny. Because once he's in his territory, <clears throat> he's basically trying to protect everybody around him from anybody else coming in. But if there's somebody else already there in his territory, you know, he's seeing them as one of his own. And he's looking, he'll protect them too. <coughs> like, he's not protected with food or anything like that, or food aggressive in the slightest bit. Matter of fact, when, uh, whenever I give him a piece of watermelon, he's so, he's, he'll take something, and you give him his treat, he's like, thank you, like a tiny, a tiny little bite, because he doesn't want to bite you. But sometimes I give him a piece of watermelon. And he, like, doesn't want to bite it because he doesn't want to... I think he doesn't want to hurt me. Doesn't want to hurt it or whatever it is because he's just a little... A little... A big softy. Big softy who has a, you know, loud bark. <clears throat> so what happens is... Is he'll, like, bite the watermelon, like... And hold on to it. But he'll never chomp down to get it. So he'll just hold it there. So I'll take his nose and his mouth and I'll chop him down so that he can actually <laughs> eat the watermelon. It takes a little bite like that. But it's funny because he'll just hold on to it like, I don't know what to do now. I don't want to hurt it. Or I don't want to hurt you. Is that your finger? I don't know. He's a good boy. But yeah, he was watching over me last night. Not feeling good. And he had a fun day. We took him out, we took him out to the town. Walking around with my buddy Nick. Shout out to Nikki Rizzles and Kenji, Big Kenj. <clears throat> Took him around the town. Those two grew up together too, kind of. I had Archer first, and when he was about about one years old, I'd say, um, Nick got Kenji. Kenji's a Japanese Akita. He's a he's a big boy. So when Kenji was a puppy, and Archer was, you know. At a year old, relatively fully grown, pretty much all there. <clears throat> they played together, and it, it was perfectly fine. It was great. And as they got older, you know, they played together fine. It was great. Played together fine. It was great. Up to a certain point where Kenji was too dominant for Archer. Kenji's not a mean, aggressive dog in the slightest bit. He's a good, he's a good boy. <clears throat> but the breed is very dominant. You know, they're trying to see... <clears throat> Basically, who's the alpha? Archer, I love him to death. He doesn't have that that dog in him for that at all. Where Kenji's looking at him, sizing him up, just as we're going for a walk, just, are you good, are you good, are you, are you challenging me? And Archer's just in la-la land looking around like, yeah, we're good friends. Just minding his own business. So, obviously the size difference too. 
they couldn't play together forever. So it's nice when we get the dogs for a walk together. Because eventually they're fine and they're just laying down and they're cool, they're chilling. But at the beginning it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So anyway, we're heading to the gym now. Big boy back day, baby. And I think that weight's going to be good. So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to go in there, throw a rope on the cable. I'm like top part of it, right? <clears throat> rope pullovers, some rows, just to warm the back up a little bit. From there, some heavy dumbbell rows, going in some high V-bar rows. Reverse grip pull downs. Either a low hammer row or rack pulls. Those two I kind of flip flop a little bit. Only because if there's somebody on the low hammer row that I want to use, <clears throat> it's kind of like my last, call it my last heavy compound movement. You know what I mean? Aside rack pulls, I guess. But I don't feel like waiting around for somebody to be finished on there because people take their sweet time on that machine for some reason. They really take their time. So I'll do the rack pulls first. And if that's open, I'll go for it first. You know, it's, it's one of those situations. There's very few exercises I move around, but that's one of them, just for that reason alone. Personally, I prefer to do the, uh, <coughs> the low hammer rows first, just as a mental thing, I guess, so I know that the machines are kind of done, aside the, the pullover machine, but nobody's ever on that anyway, so it's not a big deal. Just so I know I can go through the rest of my workout not, like, eyeing down machines, you know? But after that, so after those two, the rack pulls and the low hammer rows, we'll go into the, I call it the red lap pullover machine because it's a lap pullover machine and it's red. So we'll go into the red lap pullover machine. <coughs> Follow that, lastly, with pull-ups. As many as I can do until I can't do no more. Usually I do sets of 10, and I'll get like two and a half sets in, something like that. And scap shrugs, which those I made up, it's essentially a, uh, a wrap, I wrap around my elbow right here. I lean forward, I kind of roll my elbow back a little bit, but just to here, and I pinch my back together. <clears throat> so I'm training the muscles in the erectors that run up along the spine. Doing all that equates for a pretty, uh, pretty good, le uh, not leg day, pretty good back day. You know, if I do say so myself. So aside that, man, we're, uh, I mean, you know, for it and stuff. Going to the grocery store, you gotta, I gotta get a lot of stuff that I just need to eat. All that good stuff. My work has been very, very, my real life work has been very, very busy lately because I don't want to talk about real life work on here, about what I do and such, but <clears throat> I own a company and develop technology that makes essentially this really dangerous scam that people pull impossible to commit. So we're doing really well. <clears throat> people are still in like quarter million dollars from other, like, homeowners and things like that, it's, it's a wreck. Now, when I started this, it was going very slow for a very long time. People are like, what are you talking about? This doesn't happen, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but the past couple months, especially like the past two weeks, we've been seeing a lot of it on the news. And there's no company out there protecting people, except John, except us. So we're seeing a very a very steep spike, you could say, in demand, which is great, <clears throat> because we really don't sell the homeowners by themselves, or people by themselves, because for me to do that, I have to have this long conversation with everybody, have them understand what we sell, and them thinking they don't need it to begin with, when they really, they do need it, people just don't understand, they get scammed, and people are, you know, stealing their information, stealing social security numbers, blah, 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 so we work with a lot of businesses. And a lot of the businesses are like, oh my god, yeah, we need this, thank you. Because they get it. <coughs> but a couple of the businesses I didn't sell back in the day that like, nah, you know, we're good. They called me back. Past week. A good amount of them. 
and they're like, hey, are you guys still, are you guys still doing this? And I'm like, yeah, man. You know, we didn't close your 10 sales a month, which is very low for what we do. Contract. You know, we're, we're good. That didn't, that didn't put us under. <clears throat> Let's set up a meeting, you know. Let's set up implementation. So it's been a very busy, but a very blessfully busy, call it, last week and this week especially. Because last week everybody was calling me. This week all the meetings are happening. And next week all the meetings are happening and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so it's really exciting stuff, really good stuff, and protecting a lot of people. And we're saving a lot of people, which is incredible. You know, you guys know me. I've always been an entrepreneur. It's just who I am. I don't like listening to people. I do whatever I want, whatever I want, whenever I want, right? It's just how I live, but not in the sense of, you know, go cheating and murdering and stealing and cheating on my diet and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> you know, I have my moral compass that I will not break for anything. And I have what I call myself my non-negotiables. Now, my non-negotiables are, this is who I am, and I do not break my own moral code. End of conversation, you know? So one of my non-negotiables is my training, where I'm like, <clears throat> if it's armed, a perfect example was Saturday. If it's arm day, right? <clears throat> I'm not moving arm day. If I have to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to wake up early enough to have a meal to go train arm day the day I'm supposed to do it, that's what I'm going to do. Not, oh, it doesn't matter, it's no big deal, whatever. No. One of my non-negotiables are, you know, sticking to my program <clears throat> that I have wholeheartedly and solid, where, you know, it doesn't weather to terrorism of somebody saying, hey, let's go pumpkin picking those pumpkin picking terrorists against my program like no man sure we can go just give me heads up so I can plan accordingly I'll bring my meals <clears throat> I'll train it 4am if I have to whatever it happens to be <coughs> but my non-negotiables will not fail one of my non-negotiables it's not really on my list but I like to pretend it is you slam it down, it's all black everything pre-workout. So, we have the classic stack. I can order more stuff, actually, too. I have plenty of it, but I just, I get a certain amount a month, and I, you know, I want to get some more. <clears throat> no reason not to. So, we have the Cherry Cola Stim, Unflavored Creatine, Tiger's Blood Pump. Listen for the pop. Oof. Beautiful. Cheers, my friends. You know what's funny is, <clears throat> God, fuck this guy. This dickhead. It's a guy that works for Amazon. Get a charger. And he's just cutting everybody off. <clears throat> How many packages are you fitting in a charger, dude? One? It's not even a back seat. Or is he just delivering one package really, really quickly? Back and forth, back and forth. That'd be pretty cool, not gonna lie. I, I want to be mad, but I'm not. But I know that's not what's happening. <laughs> but anyway, guys, obviously we slammed the free. We'll be there momentarily. And I will see you inside. Let's get it, baby. Oh, and by the way, do you guys like that we're filming more gym content? Let me know. I think it's a great thing. And this new little tripod thing I got, it's working out really well. Okay, now I'll see you later. Or, you know, 15 minutes.
Whoa. What's going on, guys? So, the predictions were right. 231.4 today, or 0 0.2. I'm pretty sure it was 0 0.4. I forgot before I went to go write it down in my book, so. I believe it's 0.4. And uh, I knew we were feeling good today. Feeling good, feeling strong, right? Like we always say. So, why don't we see what that translates to? Instead of beating around the bush and teasing you guys. Whew. Let's take a look. We had a great workout. Great freaking back day today. Okay. Oh, please hold. I'm stuck. There we go. So we definitely hold a little bit of water weight, but uh, you know I'm not, I'm not too mad at that. Oh, nothing wrong with it, as long as our body gets used to holding heavier and heavier weight. What's going on, brother? Whew. Dude, you're totally fine. Yeah. Totally fine. We just had a very, uh, very quiet friend come into play. So on that note, my friends, hope you have a great day. Big James. What's up? What was the What's name up, of baby? That what was the name of that dish again? Oh, oh, case. Just it's queso. It's just Mexican. Right. No, no, you get a burrito bowl, but it's just make sure you put some of the mild queso on there. Mild queso. Yeah. Okay. Delicious. Thanks, Take care, baby. Bye-bye. Whew. Whew. A quiet friend and a loud friend come in. That's Big James. He's the freaking man. So, on that note, my friends, without any further interruptions, be it quiet posing or burrito related, hope you have a great day. Hope you keep freaking killing it. We're going to go home and feed this body. And kill the week, you guys. Let's go.